Hey guys, today we're drawing the life of another monster, the Pyramid Head. Pyramid Head is a peculiar monster. He's a humanoid monster lurking in the town of Silent Hill. As the name suggests, the Pyramid Head has a head which looks like a pyramid. It's actually a triangle-shaped helmet which is part of his head. The helmet completely covers the head and face. It's like an armor for the face. Below the helmet, he wears a long robe. The robe gives him the look of an executioner. The robe, which ends near his knees, is in pale yellow color. The pyramid-like helmet is made of something metallic. He has a long, sharp weapon, like a spear in his hands, which he uses to attack and kill. So the pyramid head is a faceless, humanoid monster with a spear in his hand. If you're thinking, no, pyramid head is not from the same family as siren head. The pyramid head is also called the red pyramid. He's the representation of anything dark and hidden in this world. The hidden dangers that he can attack you out of nowhere. He's said to be an executioner from the past. So, where did he come from? The origin story of the Pyramid Head is inevitably connected to James Sunderland. Who is James Sunderland? James Sunderland was a regular man who lived in the city suburbs. He used to work as a clerk. James lived with his wife, Mary Shepherd Sunderland, and they lived a happy life until Mary fell ill due to a terminal illness. James did his best to give her the finest treatment. However, he lost Mary after a tough fight with the illness. After the death of his wife, James got lost in his life. He behaved abnormal and didn't talk much. James lost his job and he started roaming around for no reason. James was bogged down by guilt. He thought he could have saved Mary, but he didn't. As a matter of fact, he did everything he could. But his mind was telling something else. He was suicidal and depressed. Years went by and James could never recover from the trauma. After three years of Mary's death, he received a letter. To his shock, the letter was from his wife. She posted this letter long before her death. She knew that she was going to die and she intended to tell something to James years after her death. So here is James, who received the letter three years later. In that letter, Mary asked James to go to this rural town, the town named Silent Hills. Mary told that she's waiting for him somewhere in the Silent Hill. James could not believe this, but he wanted to see what will happen. He decided to go. James didn't think he would see Mary there. But as Mary asked him to go there, James wished to die there. He reached Silent Hill with the intention to die. He really didn't want to live anymore. He felt responsible for Mary's death. Little did he know that Silent Hill is waiting for him with some magic. Silent Hill is the town which gives physical form to one's innermost thoughts. The predominant thoughts you have within you will take shape and come after you. If they're good thoughts, you're better off. If they're dark thoughts, you might kill yourself, meaning the physical form that comes out of you will kill you. The story goes ahead to say that James' consciousness, which felt that he deserves punishment, created a monster against him. That's the Pyramid Head, the faceless monster who created, who is in effect, James' own mind, working against him. The Pyramid Head is trying to make James' wish come true, his wish to die. And James in the real world is trying to fight this monster on a survival instinct. He does not know this magical property of the Silent Hills. The Pyramid Head 
has an overtly masculine appearance, which makes him a butcher or an executioner who has the power to take another life. That's James' guilt playing out, evidently, where he thinks he's taken Mary's life. The pyramid head's robe is pale and blood-soaked. This shows the reminder of Mary's blood in James' hand symbolically. The next feature is that the pyramid head won't speak. He grunts and moans painfully. He makes only such noises and nothing else. This shows James' mind, which is in deep pain. He's not able to communicate his deep pains to anyone else. He can only cry or be aggressive about it. Nobody knows what's going on inside him. And finally, the faceless helmet shows the hidden aspects of James. He does not know that the monster is himself. This makes it a faceless monster, non-recognizable, with no identity. Maybe Mary knew this about the Silent Hill. She predicted that James might feel guilty about her death, and he might be wasting his life on these dark thoughts. So she had set him up to reach this place. She wanted James to figure out what he's doing to himself. James was ruining his own life with his own thoughts. He will understand the impact of his mind only through the intervention of such a place. Mary knew this, and she wanted James to come out of his guilt. The moment James realizes that it's his own dark side that he fights every day in the form of Pyramid Head, his life will change. He will forgive himself and see himself with more compassion. He will understand the inevitable truth that nothing could have saved Mary. And he does not have to create his own demons to kill himself. So Pyramid Head is basically the demon face of all of us. He represents the darkness we all have inside us. If we don't kill our darkness, that will kill us. Instead of killing the reflection of our darkness in the outside, kill the darkness inside us. The Pyramid Head will cease to exist when James kills his own darkness. So, to kill the Pyramid Head, James has to do nothing but to look into himself. So there, guys, that was the horror story of the monster Pyramid Head. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like horror stories, and I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, stay safe.